Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 1,748 of What Chip to Know. Change is inevitable and why reinvent the wheel. We're talking about change today for the BU 365 Day Challenge and that no matter what, it's one of those things that's guaranteed in our life to happen. Well, don't you think we should prepare for something that we're guaranteed to experience probably every single day of our life, if not every single day of our life? But I don't know about you. I don't remember every ever, ever being taught how to deal with changes and challenges when I was a child, not in, well, by my parents, yeah, mostly it was, you know, suck it up, buttercup, you can deal with this, <laughs> whatever happens, you got this, or in school, I, I mean, if there were conflicts or things, teachers would help us through that, but overall, the process of dealing with changes, dealing with challenges, dealing with different types of situations was never really clearly discussed and delineated, right? If you had a bully, you might have discussed that with your parents, or you might have just kept it to yourself and tried to figure out how to do it yourself, which would be a great example of reinventing the wheel. How to deal with any challenging situation is probably a good example of reinventing the wheel because almost any problem, any situation we find ourselves in, other people have been involved in that before. So often we're, we're facing a change or a challenge. We feel like we're the only one. We feel isolated and alone and that we don't understand why this is happening to me. But if we were to just switch that off for a few minutes and say, okay, well, what am I going to do about it? What are the solutions and what is possible? Then we get into solution mode and all of a sudden we don't have the problem or the challenge that we were facing in the first place because we figured out how to proactively deal with it. And sometimes we just have to change our mind and our perspective on how we're looking at things or our belief about something, right? So often we're taught that change is bad. And remember in corporate America, we had whole initiatives where we would roll out different changes in the business. And for some reason, people tend to resist change because they think that in some way, shape or form, that's going to make the change better. What I found in my own personal experience, in my personal life is the more I resist a change, the more I resist a challenge, the harder it comes at me from different directions. Uh, I found that with my health. I found that with my relation, my, my marriage. I found that with a lot of things. Uh, and so that's part of why we're spending a year, and we're spending the better part of a year, not the better part, we're spending the whole year focusing on how do we deal with different changes and challenges in different areas and aspects of our life? How do we add a simple four-step process, which is really not reinventing the wheel. I was already doing this process. I just gave it a new name and I thought more clearly about it and made it an easy thing to remember and an easy way to install in our subconscious the process that we want for dealing with changes and challenges. We've all got lots of experience dealing with changes and challenges using our current process or a past process that got us through the situation but probably didn't give us the best outcome for ourselves. And so that's part of what prompted me in 2020 when the pandemic hit and everything was getting shut down to say, okay, well, this happened. Guess what? Something totally outside of my control and I could whine and complain and moan about it. Or I could say, okay, it happened. It just did. What am I going to do about it? What can we do about it? And what we can do about it is soap it up and make it work for us. And so I've helped thousands of people to do that, including myself, to deal with the the pandemic, then 2021, the whole year of craziness that that's brought and continuing to bring, at least here in America. Uh, and let's be really clear about the craziness. It's almost all made up, right? Is it is it true? Is it really true? Is it 100% true? Is it true for you or me? You know what? 99.9% .9 of the nonsense is not true for us and we don't believe it so we don't have to buy into it just because other people and other entities are trying to convince us of things doesn't mean they're true right we get to create our own reality so today our idiom was reinventing the wheel and i talked about well how do we do that and, and we need to do that in our businesses right not reinvent the wheel itself i mean the basic thing is the same but how do we create something new using that wheel or that basic thing to show up with our businesses and in the world as who we uniquely are. And really all you have to do about is to put your own personality, your authentic spin and you onto something that helps other people uh, solve a problem or get something that they want. 
And that is a little example of reinventing the wheel, but it's more realigning and tweaking the wheel, not reinventing the basic thing. I spent a lot of time and energy in my lifetime creating things that were new and different, that I thought were new and different. And I believed for the longest time, which is a total false belief, that in order to be successful, I had to, to create some magical thing that hadn't existed before. And that's just not true. People make millions and billions of dollars just doing more of or slightly differently something that someone else has done before. You know, if you think of any industry, almost any industry that exists, it, with the exception of some of the new technology and new industries, because I don't want to be too universal in my statements, uh, most of everything we use on a daily basis is something that's already existed. Clothes have already existed, right? But how many of us have more than one shirt in our closet, more than one pair of pants in our closet, more than one dress, more than one suit, more than one anything? Because clothing is still the same. That's the basic thing. But how clothing is done by hundreds of thousands of different businesses and industries and individuals is their unique spin on reinvent, well, realigning the wheel, not necessarily reinventing it. So fun topics today. Change is like one of my favorite topics, obviously, changes and challenges, because we got to embrace what we cannot change. I don't know about you, but a long time ago, and my kids make fun of me to this day, because now with our technology and phones and everything, we can look at the weather, right, ahead of time and know what the weather is going to be. Now, I think the weather industry and the weather forecasting is one of the most incredible, interesting industries on the planet because you can be wrong 85% of the time and you still get to keep your job or you still are considered an expert in the field. So I gave up a long time ago paying attention to the weather. You know, if I'm doing something, I look out the door and I decide if I need to grab an umbrella or put a coat on or put on my snow boots. I don't uh, worry a whole lot about what something outside of myself is that I have zero control over because I'm not going to change the weather, not in my lifetime. Don't even want to. I like the variety of the weather that we get. That's why I live in the Midwest because we get such incredible change of seasons and I find those changes exciting and invigorating. All right, that's our topics for today. If I can help you anyway, I am traveling starting tomorrow. We're starting on a three-day road trip and then uh, we're going to my nephew's wedding in Texas for a while and then I'm going to stay down in Texas and enjoy some time there with my mom because she's uh, sold her house up here in Wisconsin is living in Texas pretty much full time. I'm sure she'll come up and visit, but uh, I already miss her. So I guess it's because no, she doesn't have a house up here anymore. So I think she'll come up less often than, than she used to, she used to come up for the whole summer. So I'm hoping she'll come up for a couple months in the summer still. Anyway, if I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, look for some change and challenges over the next month or so as I do my videos on the road. I guarantee it's going to be entertaining and interesting some of the places I end up doing my videos. All right. Have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow.